Hello everyone! Before I say anything, I just wanna let you know that I am sick, so I might sound weird, okay? But it's fine. Let's begin. First of all, guys, we finally hit 100,000 subscribers on YouTube, and this is huge. And honestly, I just wanna express how I'm feeling because I have so many things to say. I wanna give, like, you know, the most honest tip and the reality about making YouTube videos, you know? Because making YouTube videos isn't just about playing the game and that's it, you know? You're not just sitting and having fun and playing the game. You have to do way more than that, you know? You have to make it entertaining because you want people who's watching your video to enjoy it, you know? I wanna talk honestly about my journey when I first began from zero to 100,000 subscribers. I honestly never thought I would get here. Like, when I got 100 subscribers, I was very happy. And then I got 1,000 subscribers and I was absolutely losing my mind. And then I got 10,000, which I really didn't think I would get to that point. You know, 10,000 was a big deal for me, you know? So now getting 10 times more than what I thought I would never get is absolutely incredible. Many people might say, okay, it's just 100,000. Like, yeah, I get over it. Whatever, it's cool, okay? But it's not, wow. Well, no, for me, it's absolutely incredible. And the reason is because when I first began YouTube, I was making videos on an iPhone 7 and editing on my phone too, you know? And I used to crash so many times and lose my progress. I would work for hours and hours. I would crash or not even be able to export my project in the first place because I don't even have enough storage. So I would work for so long for absolutely nothing. And when I was able to actually post a video after working on my phone for hours and cooking my phone, well, the video would not even get a high amount of views. It was very, very low. There was like no one watching me, you know? And I did not delete or private my old videos because I feel like I don't want to hide where I came from. And my old videos were so bad quality. The resolution of them was absolutely horrendous. It wasn't mobile, it was so pixelated. It was not a good quality. So I honestly, I just want to say thank you to everyone. To the real OGs, you know, the people that actually gave me a chance and believed in me. Said, hey, let me subscribe, let me watch his videos and give him a chance to improve. Maybe one day he'll get better. And I want to say thank you so much because if I didn't get opportunities like that, if no one actually trusted me and said, hey, I might get better one day, I would have never gotten here where I am today. And honestly, being a YouTuber has been a dream for so, so long. And I had multiple channels before the one currently I'm using. But it, they never did well because I would always give up because I felt like it's too hard, I'm not getting views. So I invented a code to keep me motivated. I invented for myself to be honest because what you need is a mindset you need something to keep you going and for me the quote was don't start just to stop and I, know I might sound silly but for me what it meant is that I worked so hard for hours and hours days weeks months I worked so freaking hard you know and if I just stopped because I was not getting views, I was not getting comments and whatever, then what was the point of all the work I did, you know? I would have wasted all that. All the sacrifices, all the pain and suffering, the countless amount of hours of working without sleeping, all that would have gone to the trash. And this is what I want you to do, guys. If you have a dream, don't ever give up. And I mean it, because things will get better eventually, and one day you will take off too. We need to stop finding excuses like, oh, I can't do YouTube because I don't have a PC, I don't have that, that, whatever. Just begin with what you have, bro. And when I began doing videos, I didn't show my voice, I didn't do like professional editing, you know, it was very bad. But everyone has to begin somewhere. So just begin. Start young, you know, so you get experience. And I don't want to make this too long, honestly, but it's a very special moment for me and I'm very happy. But I want to make sure that I thank everyone. Thank you to everyone. Thank you to my staff team on Discord who helped maintain my server. Honestly, you guys have changed so many things for me. My server went from nothing to a big thing. Even though sometimes the chat is dead, but hey, that doesn't matter. It grew so much and it got so much better and more professional. And this is just so cool. I want to say thank you to everyone for the constant support and especially the ones that watch every single video I do no matter what I upload. I upload King Legacy, Bloodshed Fruits, a horror game. No matter what I upload, you'll watch it anyways. And I want to say thank you so much to these people. I want to say thank you to the real fans that always leave a like, comment, and watch to the end. Because some people might say, stop begging for a like and stuff like that. But what you might not understand is that liking, commenting, and subscribing, and watching to the end is what helps a video get recommended on YouTube. And everyone who does that on my videos and always leave a like, comment, and watch to the end, well, that helps my video get recommended more on YouTube. It sincerely helps me a lot. I also want to say thank you to all the positive comments and the fan support. It helped me honestly feel so much better about myself and gave me better self-esteem and more confidence in myself. And honestly, in fact, now I can speak English without feeling ashamed of being made fun of because of my accent. Honestly, in real life, I used to be made fun of a lot for talking English. People would say like, oh, you have an accent, you sound so bad, just stop talking, shut up. But when I did the voice reveal, I got so much support. Like, keep it up, keep your head up, like, you got this, your voice isn't bad. All these nice comments made me feel so good and more confident about myself and honestly this is what i love the most about youtube is the comments it can be critique regular comments support comments even hate comment i don't care it's so nice to have opinion from others sometimes unless when they get too far you know like mean and all that's not cool but in general i love when people comment i love to see what people think about my videos what they enjoyed what they didn't enjoy too much and for everyone asking for a face reveal honestly i want to make one maybe not yet i think it's a bit too early but i promise that if i get a big amount of support like something big changes suddenly and i start blowing up like i used to do when i was doing my cbc 
these videos in King Legacy. I think I want to show my face and I will do it one day. I don't count on staying a faceless creator forever. I did some channel revamps and I think it's time to show my new character on Roblox. I call it Bloxstream Awakening. And here is my new avatar. This means that I have to change my new banner. I did not expect to make a new avatar, but hey, I did. And I kind of like this one better because I feel like it's more cursed, more something. I don't know. It's just, I think I had enough of my old avatar. And I honestly love this one so much better. And let me know if you enjoyed this one too, guys. But anyways, guys, that's it. If I have one last thing to say is always remember that at the end of the day, everyone can learn and improve. Sincerely, Blockstrom.